well, apparently my phone, I'm so used to having a 14 plus 14S that <laughs> this downgrade iPhone I got don't even got the forward, the reverse flash, but here it go. All right, now y'all see the difference. Now watch how this silver pops when I get rid of all of this. All the scratches you thought you had, nah, this protective film, baby. Boy, this is like cheating on your bitch right here. Whew. You see the difference? That's the actual paint versus the paint with the film on it. Let's go ahead and get it all off. But man, this is... My passion just happens to be the, the monster trucks and the remote control cars. But if you're serious and dedicated about anything that you want to do in life, um, you're going to get to a point where you either going to go hard at it or you're just going to take it out your life and be okay with where you sit with it. And um, we weren't raised like that on the north side of Flint. We was raised to go get it by any means. But it's, it's, it's channels. It's proper channels to approach in life, man. You know, you can't just demand everything. I, I had to be humble a lot, and I talk a lot. I talk a lot of shit sometimes, but I had to be humble in my willingness to learn from other folks' mistakes and learn things about this hobby that um, will keep me relevant. And, you know, I always believe if you do something that you, you know, you really care. Like, I never did it for likes. I never made an Instagram page set out to make it a business. I never did none of that. I had a gas and remote control monster truck. And I had an electric monster truck. And I had a platform where I could show off me playing outside. Because we was all supposed to be in the yard anyway. And three years later, 3,069 fans later, over 300,000 views later. We here. So I extend, I understand that responsibility. I thank all of y'all for tuning in, man. And if you haven't, make sure you go subscribe. Vehicle City Monsters on YouTube and Instagram. Now, back to the nature at hand. So here's how she really look, y'all. Whew. Pictures don't even do it justice, man. This video, and I'm on 4K right now. It's kind of... But yeah. Now, this is an example. I did this in 2020, same day Kobe, same day, next day Kobe died, after Kobe died, I'm, I did this. And this is why I say the yellow is so iffy because I messed up on it and I wound up having to blend it with the purple because I didn't get the right yellow the first time. And that's painted on the inside. So I would have to find something to really either get it all the way out without damaging the body or just um, vinyl wrap it on, on over the top. But that's a trail boss, still made by Proline. It's the big dog, the 2021, 2500 HD. I still got my diesel truck, y'all. It's just in the shop. But um, the Tahoe doing me good right now, and the Trans Am still in the garage. But um, I'm gonna go ahead, slap the stickers on this. Oh. Before I let y'all go, I wanted you to notice this. This is it's shit like this that turns it real. So when you're removing, you will see why these are on here. Because boom. You see inside. So definitely want to do your window mask. If you a tent type person. Um, you can spray them black and then spray your paint on there or whatever. Me personally, I like to see what's going on in my truck. Also, it lets me know if my ESC or my speed control is beeping wrong or something like that. I got a good look at it. But um, I'm going to go ahead, put the decals that I have on here, mount it up, take a couple pictures, post this video, and hope y'all watching and share with your people. VCM, Vehicle City Monsters. Much love. Peace out.